Let's set up a speed study. First, make sure to choose a location for your study free of visual barriers, such as bus stops, large signs, or overpasses. For best results at night, choose a well-lit location. To create a new study, on the home screen, press the Studies button. To resume a partially created study, on the study screen, press the View and Configure Drafts button. For a new study, press the Create Study button and then the ATR Study with Speed option. Next, select the date, start time and duration of your study. You can adjust these using the buttons next to the plus and minus signs. When these are correct, click Confirm Schedule. If you're not at the study location, save as a draft and go to the location for deployment. Once there, choose Configure Drafts to continue. If you're already on location, continue on to configure the camera. If relevant, you will see warnings if there is insufficient battery life or storage to complete the study. Ensure that the camera pole is fully extended and that it is angled down enough to avoid glare from light sources such as the sun or street lights. Tilt the camera so that both curbs are visible and the camera is facing directly across the road at a right angle to the flow of traffic. This is essential for getting accurate speed measurements from the camera. To set up the speed study, two distance markers will need to be placed on the closest side of the road to the camera. To set the markers, use a measuring tape and survey paint or temporary paint to accurately measure out the distance of 25 or 30 feet. Using brightly colored temporary surveyor paint is recommended so that the markers are clearly visible in the video. The person performing the cloud configuration may not be the same person who set the markers, so they must be clearly visible to all users. If it is available to you, you can use a measuring wheel and marker spray. Once your markers are set, press the Next button. On the Area of Focus screen, to ensure the most accurate capture of data, Confirm that the traffic scene of interest is completely within the green zone. If necessary, use the pan and zoom buttons to adjust the camera view or zoom to capture as much as possible in the green zone. Press the Confirm Detection button. Review the video to confirm that it is detecting the expected objects. Blue boxes identify detected objects. If necessary, return to the Area of Focus screen to adjust the camera view and then return to the Confirm Detection screen to review the updated video. Next, add the distance between the markers. Then, press the Next button. Choose either the Schedule Study button or the Start Now button to proceed. If the scheduled study is starting immediately, review the home screen to confirm that the file size is increasing and that the information is being saved to the SD card successfully. Close and lock the VCU door. The screen will turn itself off after two minutes. You can add or replace batteries during the study without pausing the study or powering down the device. To do this, unlock and open the door of the device. If all bays have batteries in them, locate the drained battery by pressing the power indicators or looking on the on-screen power indicators. Removing the drained battery ensures that the device remains powered with a battery that still has capacity. Place the fully charged battery in the battery bay and close and lock the door of the device. To learn how to configure and get your speed study in TDO, watch the video linked below.